What's going on everybody? Why Tiger 93 here, y'all guys call me the Tiger, and today we are back playing some more Wiz 101. Today, guys, we're gonna be taking a look at the new Scroll of Fortune in Wiz 101, the spring 2021 Scroll of Fortune. Really excited to take a look at the Scroll of Fortune. I have not seen it yet, and I really can't wait to see how it compares to the previous Scroll of Fortunes because it seems with every one they release, they seem to always get better than the one that came before it. So really excited. I do have an article that I've written over on Arcanum Archives that is up right now that is connected with this review, so if you're interested in reading that, I'll link that down in the description down below. And I do have articles and videos on the past Scroll of Fortunes I've done reviews for over on Arcanum Archives as well. So make sure to check that out. Arcanum Archives is an awesome website, all kinds of articles, guides, blog posts, and event stuff over there, so make sure to check out Arcanum Archives. Link down in the description down below. So. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Scroll of Fortune. I haven't seen anything that's in it yet. Someone did post on Twitter that I did see that the exclusive wall hanging item, the portrait, I don't know what's in this one, but the past two, I believe, actually form a picture of Ravenwood when you put them next to each other. So I'm guessing that's what the next two portraits are gonna look like, the complete picture of Ravenwood. So that's pretty exciting. I didn't actually complete the Winter Scroll of Fortune myself, sadly, but with this scroll of fortune, I'm hoping to get back on my streak of actually completing them. So let's go ahead and take a look. Really excited. Um, Alright, so spring scroll of fortune. I did the pet promenade earlier. Got some points saved up. So we're going off to a start. Alright, so 30 points. What is that going to get us? Dark Sprite. Alright, and then was it like 1,000 gold? I'm assuming 2,000 gold. Okay. If you guys are not familiar with how the Scroll of Fortunes work, you get points for doing certain tasks in the game that you can see up here in the event tab. And as they build up, you can unlock rewards through the Scroll of Fortune. Whatever is locked right here in red, you will have to purchase the full Scroll of Fortune down here, which is 15,000 crowns um, regular price or 7,500 if you are a member. So you'll have 89 days to build up your points to get all the rewards. So, alright. Let's go ahead and take a look. I'm hoping to see a permanent mount. We haven't seen a permanent mount yet in the Scroll of Fortune. We've seen temporaries. We've seen the never-before-seen teasers for what's coming up. We've seen a 90-day mount. And we've seen three 30-day mounts, I believe. So, there is definitely a step in the right direction. I really like how they're doing longer mounts. So, temporary just doesn't feel as, you know, short. And you get it and it's gone. So, I really like that. Hoping to see a permanent mount. There's a mountain right here, but uh, you never know. Of course, they got the awesome teleport effects that are usually at the end of it. Uh, the occasional cool wands and interactable housing items. Still hoping to see those. And I'm I'm really excited, so let's go and get into it. So we got some Minari there. How much was that? 25. Alright, so we got an elixir. Gold boost elixir. Hopefully we still have uh, a lot more member benefit elixirs as well, because those are always fun to get. Uh, Beast Moon Seed. Okay. Three reagents from the Mega Reagents pack. Two Doomsday Croc Timelines. Alright. I'm slowly building up my timelines. Eventually, I'm going to craft that Croc Gauntlet, but working my way up there. Uh, Alright, so Stargazer's Rocket. So that's new. Okay, so what does this look like? Alright, look at that! Ah, oh, that's bringing back, like, nostalgic vibes. That's making me think back, you know, to the, like, the arcade machines, you know, they used to ride. That is cool. All right, that's pretty neat. So, but before we saw the one of the Dino themed mounts, and we've seen the Flying Dutchman mount, which was then later released in card packs. So I wonder if we're gonna see like a arcade uh, space theme max. That's that's what that reminds me of, like the you know the rocket rides in the arcade. It's pretty cool, but it's only a seven day. It, it's not a ninety day. It's not a, a thirty day. Not a fourteen day. Sadly, this is a seven day. But this is a 50% speed boost as well, so not your standard 40. But sadly, only a weak, weak mount. <laughs> a weak mount. Lasts for a week. Uh, two snacks from the Mega Snack Pack. Okay. Three Common Beast Moon Reagents. 3,000 gold. Uh, three Uncommon Beast Moon Reagents. If you're really into Beast Moon or the Decathlon, this is your definite source of where you can get resources for this. Spring Globe. Alright, so these globes are cool. They always add like the particle effects to your house. Always fun, I like that. Uh, Unlock Storm Elf for the Beast Moon. 50 Lunari for Beast Moon. Uh, XP Boost Elixir, okay. Uh, three Live Draconian Idols. Uh, Decathlon Ice Rune Pack. Uh, Astrologer's Horde Pack, okay, so Astrologer, alright. So definitely Space Astrology there. 
Um, I was thinking maybe something with arcade, but who knows? It could be arcade themed. But that's uh, that's pretty cool. So we do got the actual pack that that mount belongs to. Looks like. All right, interesting. Okay, all right. Floral. Floral Raymond boots. Okay, so the reason why I'm looking at this is because like it literally matches my stitch. I think the boots I have right now are just plain boots. Purple and yellow. I have purple and yellow. This is like a purple and green. All right, so it works well with my gear. Actually, it'd probably be better to stitch boots for me right now, honestly. But uh, so that's that. Okay. And lifesaver Jade. May cast Pigsy and outgoing heal. Look at that. May cast Pigsy and outgoing heal. All right, that is cool. That that is cool. I like that. That is cool. All right, so moving on to page two. <clears throat> 10 blueprint tokens. These are really cool. Slowly building up the collection of blueprint tokens. Uh, 200 Lunari. Uh, 5 Sinbad's Magical Clay. Eventually, I'm going to craft the Sinbad Gauntlet 2. Uh, I've done that one. It's pretty fun. Uh, 10,000 gold. Okay, so we got some gold here. 3 Spellaments. Um, the thing about Spellaments is I don't really think they're the kind of item that they really expect you to say, okay, Within the next three days, I'm going to get all the spell elements I need to upgrade a spell. I think spell elements are really added in just something to get over time and not all at once. I think that's part of the spell element experience. Uh, three participation trophies. Uh, one of the rare um, reagents to get, of course, used for arcane crafting. Very nice. Wish come true. So we got an emote. We have an emote. It kind of reminds me of the... I think it was a rose, maybe a daisy. What was the other emote that we got in one of the previous scrolls? Flower power, was this quick? Alright, so you like summon the flower. Okay. So while I'm doing that, I'm going to go back over here and uh, take a look. Where is that at? Right here. Wish come true. So it's like you pick the flower there and okay, and you blow. Okay, that's cool. Alright, I like the emotes. We really need an emote tab where you can like just push the tab button. And it pops up with like a little emote wheel or emote list and you can click on it much faster than it would be just to go over here. I think that would really bring uh, the much needed convenience for emotes. Uh, that's 3 Beast Moon Seeds right there. Good for Beast Moon. Gardening benefit. 3 hours of double gardening. Pretty cool. Uh, 3 Idis Wolf Idols. Major Fishing Luck Elixir. 15,000 gold. Um, if they do include a housing recipe, I hope they include an additional castle elixir because that is something I noticed before. They've included housing recipes, but they have included the additional castle elixirs. Or they'll include additional castle elixirs, but they don't include the housing recipe, which I don't really like that. I wish if they did one, they would do both. Uh, 30 smell spellaments. Spellaments, okay. Um, could be any of these, of course. Or it could be all of them divided into however many could fit in the 30, I don't know. Um, upgrade Storm Elf. Okay, Decathlon Dead Tower Pack. Like I said, this is your number one source for Beast Moon and Decathlon. Uh, double Pedic Speed for one hour. One hour Double Pedic Speed. Energy Elixir, always nice. Member Benefit Elixir is always nice. Ten Sid Bads Magical Clay. Uh, I wonder if we're going to see any more of uh, these gauntlets that we can actually craft. It's going to be interesting seeing later on how maybe these reagents start becoming less common to find in the scrolls. 20,000 gold. Three Shining Scales, one of the most rare reagents. Okay. Uh, Floral Raymond Hill. Oh, that reminds me of uh, uh, one of the other hats. I, I can't remember what it's called, but one that we've seen before. But are pretty neat, pretty unique. Um, you can't get these items anywhere else outside the Scroll of Fortunes. Uh, do we have a chance for a mount, a permanent mount? Uh, oh, we do got a mount, we do got a mount. It's not locked, so I'm not going to expect it to be permanent, but we'll just have to wait and see. Decathlon and Death Rune Pack. 10 Eldred Thread. Uh, three Imitation Runes, three Amber, one of the rare reagents as well for crafting spells. All right, pretty good. Triple Animus Elixir. All right. Uh, 500 Lunari. And what do we got for... Oh, so we got the Florent Raiment uh, Mail. Okay, so we got like the whole um, outfit here. We got the hat, we got the boots, and then we got the um, thing right here. When I see like the whole collection of it, this might actually make for a good energy stitch. Interesting, okay. Uh, 30 spell elements right here. Could be any of these cards. Um, I don't know exactly if it'll like divide the 30 into these or it could be, you know, any of these cards. I can never remember how that works. But here we go. Time for the mount. Let's go. Come on. All right. So, oh, look at that. So, three 30 day petal farthing mounts. Okay. So, it kind of looks like the 
the penny 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 fa penny farthers I, I don't know exactly how you say it, but that's uh, that's kind of what it looks like all right pretty neat pretty interesting pretty unique mount additional castle elixir all right so here's our additional castle elixir I was talking about are we going to see a recipe we got crafting right over here and then we also got these other items as well it doesn't seem like there's as many housing items as there was before which is interesting um, where was I at <laughs> so we did the mount was this okay so this was the additional castle elixir I was thinking it was a elixir okay interesting so that's included as a housing item uh, three balance croc idols 200 lenari double pet XP for three hours uh, upgrade storm elf form so it looks like storm elf is the theme of the season magic beanstalk okay so this is a housing item I wonder okay so what's that at the top is it like wind particle effect I wonder if it's gonna be like one of those interactable items that you can climb up kind of like the hot air balloon mounts or uh, not a mount but the uh, housing items you can place that actually like lets you float in the air so that's pretty that's pretty neat that's pretty unique okay that's pretty cool uh, one random elixir could be anything could be a hyper elixir it uh, could be anything uh, mega snack pack for some more mega snacks and then here is the winter scroll of fortune painting which is not the scroll of fortune painting that belongs in this season that's probably a bug but uh, yeah that's what it looks like so sadly kind of makes me mad now that I didn't complete the winter scroll of fortune because now I don't have the whole set to make those look right but uh, there is that um, one alternate and 13 timelines okay that's a lot of timelines I like how they have the alternate because to transmute the timelines to the alternate and then the par parallel timelines there's a lot of timelines involved so I like that Lots of timelines. Three one hour double gardening. So what does the effect look like? Here we go. So it's a cherry blossom. Okay, let's see it again. I like it. Pretty spring themed. Pretty unique. Um, they're definitely branching out. <laughs> Puns. <laughs> I'm sorry. But they're definitely branching out with these different and more unique teleport effects. Because before we've seen... Um, just like you know simple particle effects like they had the storm fireworks they had the ice fireworks the fire fireworks which are really cool as well and then they had like the ice uh, one that lets you kind of like turn into ice and they're definitely putting in more uh, like animation and detail into these uh, different teleport effects so that's pretty cool I like it like I said these items that you guys are seeing like the gear and the teleport effect in these mounts as of right now can only be found in the scroll of fortune so that is pretty neat. So overall, I will say the Scroll of Fortune is definitely helpful, especially if you're in the Decathlon or in the Beast Moon events. This is like your number one source for where you can get stuff for that. Um, these are also this is also your sources for these uh, member benefit elixirs. Uh, starting off right here, major fishing. Uh, right here, so you got double pet XP for one hour. If you don't have a membership, these are your biggest sources for the membership elixirs. So definitely a guess what take advantage of that. Let's see how many just how many member benefit elixirs are included in this. We have this was the major fishing. So right here we got one. Two. Three. Four. Well, could be four. And four five six and what could be a seven all right so a total of six and maybe seven total would be how many different member benefit lectures you can get from this which is not bad especially if you do the scroll of fortune on more than one wizard as well so there's definitely a lot of elixirs you can take advantage of here um, you got the additional castle elixir as well which is really helpful for getting castles um, especially you know if you're at max limit the max limit is three um, you got the unique one-of-a-kind teleport effects that you cannot find in anywhere else and then the unique um, gear as well so overall my final review on this specific scroll of fortune oh y'all you also got the emotes as well and the occasional reagents like the participation trophies uh, the magical clay timelines amber so 
overall we'll say for to review this specific scroll of fortune they've definitely improved as time has went on uh, for example like I said you do got the whole set of gear right here the past scroll of fortunes none of them have featured a whole set of uh, a gear like the hat the robe and the boots they have either had a hat and a wand or a robe and a wand or the boots and a wand but this is like the first like official full set of gear that we've seen in a scroll of fortune um, you got the teleport effect that you cannot get anywhere else there is the emote that you cannot get anywhere else there is a total of six potentially up to seven member benefit elixirs included in this and of course you got the rare lifesaver jade the may cast pigsy spell which is from Kroger cards so if you guys don't have a Kroger near you this is where you get the uh, jewel from a lot of people have been trying to get these Kroger cards when it comes around during the uh, monthly card sales and may cast pigsy is definitely one of the rare and um, one of the most popular pet jewels right here so that is definitely uh, a highlight of this world of fortune and like I said if you're in a beast moon or decathlon this is your number one set for resources so overall I like that there was a full set of gear I like that they're still continuing member benefit elixirs and I like the emotes of course and I like how they have the uh, unique teleport effect and that they're continuing the scroll of fortune paintings those are fun to collect I really wish I got the ones before this now my set will be incomplete but um aside from that uh, the spell mentor was cool to have this too in the reagents but my number one concerns is we still have yet to see a permanent mount of any kind uh, we did see two in this one a seven day kind of early teaser wants to come and over here we saw um, a new spring themed one three 30 days so that way you don't got to worry about equipping it and then expiring soon or you don't got to worry about equipping it and then you only have you only have this one set time period and then when it's over it's over they broke it up and gave you a fair bit of time with these which is cool but still not a permanent amount but that's probably my biggest concern out of this and really the, the only other thing I have to touch on is the scroll of fortune is cool for getting reagents and they definitely used to help promote the events like the decathlon and the beast moon because they are newer events many people might not know about them many people not, might not participate in them but when they see the scroll of fortune it definitely gets their attention or when they see the scroll of fortune they see the resources and it definitely helps them out but as time goes on I kind of want to see maybe less decathlon less beast moon resources included in the scroll uh, just because they are two events that are in the game but they seem to have just such a major presence in the scroll of fortune but I really do like how they did the full set of gear and the only other thing I could think of is if that would be cool is with a lot of other um, kind of you could say a battle pass season pass type features in a lot of other games they kind of have the currency comeback for when you buy it for example there could be like right here 150 crowns you get they come back to you 350 right here and then maybe like 400 right here alongside of that so it may not be much you know maybe only a thousand crowns total but just kind of over time you just kind of build up a small amount of crowns back uh just a little bit not much but other than that that is my overall review of the scroll of fortune so i think it's definitely worth getting hopefully you guys found this review useful really love to see y'all guys thoughts and feedback on the scroll of fortune but that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up make sure to check out arcanum archives i have written articles and recorded videos on the past scrolls and like i said there's a bunch of other members over on Arcanum Archives that are always doing things. There's blogs, events, uh, guides, and contests. So Arcanum Archives is really cool. Make sure to check that out. Link down in the description down below. And that will wrap up this video. Hope you guys enjoy. Still doing the mode. <laughs> and I will see y'all next time. Let's well, Hacker 93 out.